until the philosophy which holds one race superior and another inferior. Had you planned it to do that on camera or was it yeah. something that... No, I planned it. Yeah. Well, to me it was great because I was able to stand up and say who I am and what I represent and that I'm not a pop star. I wasn't in music. Uh, so that I could be a pop star. I wasn't attracted to music so I could be a pop star. I was attracted to music so I could stand for what I believe in. We have confidence in the victory of good over evil. Fight the real enemy. Like if you picture for a second in your head a, a little boy you know being raped and ask yourself is his humility, you know, can it be compared to the fucking humility of these people with all their riches and all their la 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 and their lies and they're not actually accepting what happened. They should have been on their knees roaring crying. They should have been the ones who first publicised it. It shouldn't have been that the victims had to spend years bashing the door down. Obviously what happened to the children made you cry. You know, and you shouldn't even read it because you'll never sleep again. I, before I read any of this stuff, I was a person who had to sleep in pitch black or I couldn't sleep. Since I read the stuff back in March, I have to have a light on, can't go to sleep without the light on. The stuff didn't even happen to me. That's just from reading it, you know. So it's, a, it's a really a very upsetting, you know. Η Ιρλανδή τραγουδοποιός Σινίδο Κόνορ ήταν από τις πρώτες φωνές που υψώθηκαν ενάντια στη σεξουαλική κακοποίηση από καθολικούς ιερείς. Το 1992, λίγες μέρες μετά την ευνηδιαστική κίνησή της να σκίσει τη φωτογραφία του Πάπα Ιωάννη Παύλου σε ζωντανό πρόγραμμα του Αμερικανικού Δικτύου NBC, εμφανίστηκε σε συναυλία όπου δέχτηκε τις αποδοκιμασίες πιστών καθολικών. I just cried and cried and cried when I read the Murphy report. I cried for like two weeks, like, and I was very angry as well. Obviously, uh, you know. Why were you so angry about it? Well, uh, uh, was for, it something personal? You know. No, it's a wealth of reasons. For me, the reason I'm involved in this whole campaigning or struggling about it is not only because I'm concerned about the people that this stuff happened to, but I ha I happen to be someone who uh, loves the idea of the Holy Spirit. You know, and I believe in the Holy Spirit, and I don't like to see that spirit being used and manipulated and misrepresented. And I always had the feeling the church kind of keep the Holy Spirit prisoner, you know, hold him hostage or him, she, yet whatever you want to call it, that they dictate who who God can love and who God doesn't love and all of that. So I was always disappointed with them. And from the time that I was very young, I I grew up myself in a in a home which was filled with extreme abuse. And what actually helped me to get through that was the Holy Spirit. I constantly believed in Jesus. When I was being having the shit kicked out of me, lying on the floors, I would close my eyes and I'd think about Jesus and I'd see Jesus on the cross and the blood would run down from Jesus into my heart on the floor and that saved me. I was able to go through any abuse when I had that.